Yeah, I don't know. My Spotify betrayed me a little bit for this wrap up. I don't even want to shut. I got your Spotify. Uh, Spotify betray you, or did your daughter? Yeah, that little sucker did it. <laughs> she didn't want. Who, I don't even know who fuckers listen to Keith Urban. <laughs> I don't know one Keith Urban song. Keith what? Urban left a message for you. Good D. I'm like, he said, number? "Thank you, thank you, B. So much for listening." I'm like, huh? <laughs> I wouldn't even know Keith Urban if he walked in the street. Oh hell no, nah, me either. I would, yeah, just a white. You man. can show me Keith Urban, and I'll be and like, like "Who is Urban. that?" I'm, yeah, and I'll be like, "Who? <laughs> who? <laughs> Michael Suburban? I don't know who the fuck he, Keith Urban. I don't know not one Keith Urban song. Me either. Can't, and that was my that. number one. I was like, <sighs> yeah, "That's because Gucci going in there. Hey, hey, Google, play Keith Urban, girl. That <laughs> that Pasta Pluma song." <laughs> And I was like, bro. And then you had Mary J. Blige. I'm Mary like, J. Blige. I'm like, what the fuck is she going bro, through? I'm Who hurt my baby you. heart? Somebody breaking my baby okay, heart. Okay, let me find out Gucci in there sliding on, on the wall. <laughs> sliding down? He's sliding down in the I shower. Said, dirty. <laughs> dirty ass, not washed. Dirty dry ass sliding okay. down the shower. She done, dry, she done slid down the drywall. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back getting stuck. Yeah. Oh, dirty ass. I'm like, somebody's breaking my baby heart. <laughs> Somebody put her through the ring. Girl, check on her. Girl, not cry up to sleep. Girl, I was like, not going to cry no more. I said, what is, a, what is an eight-year-old listening to Mary J. I Blige? I will stop breathing if you told me to. Huh? <laughs> what? An eight-year-old listening to Mary J. Blige is wicked. <laughs> I will stop breathing if you told me to. <laughs> wicked. That is crazy. Girl, you ain't even long as Ela. You ain't even that old yet. <laughs> <laughs> he left, huh? <laughs> you said, <laughs> go home and ask her. <laughs> you said, have, what, you what's have, making you do this? You have three years to feel like that as, old as, as a part of that song. <laughs> I, I should have left <laughs> y'all ass a long time ago. Girl, she and her singing that. I, I've never heard her sing that. Girl. But you know what? She found a lot of songs like off of YouTube and TikTok and she'd be like, Alexa, play this and it'd be the wrong song because you know people be remixing stuff. Oh, yeah. So I don't know what Mary J. Blige song is going to remix or something. My, 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 is that chicken song? My baby is hot. <laughs> and get your chicken. <laughs> Can I crisp and lettuce? Girl, she about the fuck not. You know what? Hey, hey uh, Siri, play that chicken song. <laughs> And fresh lettuce. Girl, that's crazy. <laughs> Gucci in there. And get your chicken. <laughs> and your crispy loaded bun. Girl, I wish the fuck she would. Man, I wanna un I wanna unsign off all my shit. Cause I don't want the same thing to happen again next year. <laughs> you need to like make it to where it'll only take your voice or something. Girl, but I you right. But it be as but I don't be fun when you be bothered either. <laughs> I know it's a baby baby. Just get in the tub. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want to say. Wash your ass. Why? Don't come out hey, here dry. Alexa, play wash your <laughs> stinky butt. Hey, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a, a tick. Oh, it's a tweet. You know, sometimes I be giving these niggas these stink booty. <laughs> Cause y'all gonna stop asking for stuff. Here. Girl, Damn. Like, imagine being like, man, her ass stink. Did you still fuck? Yeah. yeah. Niggas do not care. <laughs> You didn't hold your nose together. Yeah. Stop lying. It got to be ass air back there, though. Oh, that, man. Let me tell you. Oh, Have you ever had a nigga just, like, take your breath away? By, you know, but you like, hold on now. <laughs> I don't know if this is... You weren't like, supposed to do that. Yeah, hold on now. This Not thing, today. This thing <laughs> get the full surface. <laughs> I didn't know you wanted that on, Troy. Uh, you, I, I didn't know you wanted a, a, a triple dipper. <laughs> For real, hold on now. Don't put your hand back there. I'm dealing with some stuff earlier. Like I'm clean now, but I ain't clean, clean. <laughs> <laughs> I said, hold on, wait. Clutch I, up immediately. <laughs> like every from Players Club, I ain't come here for all that. <laughs> I ain't come from no ass. <laughs> come to the front. <laughs> Damn. No, that's definitely happened. I was like, <laughs> you better hold on. All right, now. Wait. <laughs> I ain't tell you to go back and do all that. I was like, you do that on your own, baby. I ain't tell you to do all that. You got to do it with your own consequences. 
<laughs> oh, no. For every action, there's a reaction. <laughs> no, for real. Hey. So that's what you get back when you're just doing shit. Okay. I, what's yours looking like, though? Because I would say my apple looked a whole lot better. My apple was good. So, like, my top was, I had some Glorilla in there. Mm-hmm. Um, let me see. Let me go back to it real quick. Because I didn't realize, I felt like the odd man out. I don't use Spotify. I mean, I don't really, I, clearly I don't either. <laughs> with Keith Urban being my number one. Yeah. Uh, Party Next Door was my number one. Okay. I listened to him for 388 minutes. Mm-hmm. Uh, Glorilla was number two, 356 minutes. Mm-hmm. Meg was number three, 310 minutes. That's your Spotify or Apple? My Apple. Mm-hmm. Um, And then Destin Conrad was number four. Okay, Destin Conrad. Love me some Destin Conrad. Okay. Listen, he was even better in person. Um, he was 181 minutes, and then Metro Boomin was 180 minutes. That was probably just me listening to uh, the future album. Mm. My number one is Party Next Door. Period. Number two, Meg. You Period. said number two was your Meg? Meg no, Meg was number three. Gorilla okay. was my number two. Leon Thomas, number three. Summer Walker, number four. Tyler Curry, number five. Okay. So I had a pretty little. And my t- what's your top song? Uh, my top song number one is "Choosy" by Young Devin. That's my shit. And then number two is my my favorite song, "Very Few Friends" by Saint Levant. Uh huh. Oh, I love that song. I feel like a bird for my favorite song. What? It's yeah, yeah. But it, the, our, <laughs> she's like sixteen years old. Oh yeah, that's that girl you was playing. Yeah, I love Star Bands, but I be feeling so like oh, listen to her like you old bitch. <laughs> you gonna turn on some Anita Baker or something girl, like that? I don't even li- I don't even think about none of that. I don't think about none of that age, nothing. Yes, yeah, my and then my top album, like I have a white in my top album. Now this this one, it it was me. What Rex Orange County? Who was that? Girl, it's like I I don't even remember how I found out about them. But it's loving is easy, but this hold on, but you took it too far or something like that. I it's it's a little white band. Okay. They cultured or whatever. I don't even know. No, that's a white band. A white band for sure. <laughs> I can't even lie and say they cultured because it's a, a very white band. What's your number one album? Glorilla? Yeah, Glorilla. Okay. Flo Millie was in my top album. Okay, Flo Millie? Yeah, Meg, uh, Party, and then 21 Savage, American Dream. I didn't even know I listened to it that much. Wow. So I got number five is Rex Orange County, Jaguar 2, Victoria Monet. Leon Thomas, Meg Thee Stallion, and Party Next Door. Party Next Door really had a lot of my time. Oh, hell yeah. Party. Oh, that's Party had a lot of my time. Drum was my number one artist in January, though. That's kind of not crazy because I, I like Drum. And then Kirby. But Party Next Door was definitely like a number one artist for several months. There were streaks. Wow. My number one artist for February was Zay Johnny. <sighs> Be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah. That's what's up. Mm-hmm. I wonder if it's going to be the same. <laughs> I wonder if it's going to be like next year. <laughs> <laughs> For I, listen, finding out people are Trump supporters just really. I know. So I'll just be like, hmm. <coughs> Very disappointing. Because you just be like, wow. I would have never expected that from you, nigger. <laughs> you gotta remind him. <laughs> oh yeah, you gotta start getting racist with him. I must have forgot. Yeah, nah, you I, black motherfucker. Girls is girl. I just I don't I don't. I met her at the Brown Sugar Baby event, and I was like, oh, you're so cute because we both have blonde hair. And I should know she was off because I recorded a video. She's like, oh, don't post it, and I was like. Okay, sure. She's like, well, can you send it to me first? Bitch, if I, I listen. So, what, so you can go in there and chop and, and screw it? Yeah, I'm not going to do all that. Don't worry about it, but you won't be in a video. Yeah, don't worry about it. So then, like me, I became her friend because of, she wanted the video. And then I see, um, looking for all the 2% of uh, black women. And I was like, oh, hell no, this bitch done lost it. She wrote it, she wore, ordered a hat that said, make Kamala Indian again. <gasps> I said, you know what? Let me follow this strange ass bitch because you didn't do it. I just met you, ho. I don't have to be around here for this. Uh, hell yeah. And you be, why, why are you being weird? Now, uh, right now. Yeah. Calm down somewhere. I was like, oh, yeah, let me follow this weird ass. Hey, people can say whatever they want. Them Trump supporters, they real quiet these days. Yeah, y'all real quiet. Now y'all seeing what y'all done signed up for, what y'all done signed the rest of us up for. Y'all done signed us up for tariffs. You done signed us hell up yeah. for mass deportation, denaturalization. A- hell yeah. You didn't think they could take it away from you, did you? You seeing he making the uh, 
the the chief of hospitals and shit. He letting anybody go in there and Hell work yeah. all these important ass jobs. Hell like yeah. anybody sign up. I'm like, boy, we're fucked, dog. How about that break? Elon Musk. I'm like. Girl, everyone help. My daughter, oldest, she especially hates Teslas now. She's like, oh yeah, girl. One. I'm so happy I never bought a Tesla. Dang, I thought I was gonna ask too if you still fuck that. No, way. I don't. Uh, no, Mm-mm. and you know, honestly and truthfully, it's fuck Kim Kardashian. I will never buy another Skims product again what in my life. What Kim do? Her running around with that damn um uh, robot. I'm like, you are screaming that you're a Trump supporter without actually saying it. For real? Hell yeah. I'm Elon Musk that. gave her a robot and. Her taking, I don't know, I'm just like, girl, buy Kim. Buy Kim. People are, well, we were talking earlier, fucking cars are being repossessed at like alarming rates and Kim's yeah. running around with a fucking robot. That $20,000 robot? Girl, yes. The Tesla want, robot. Is it the one with Kyson I had too? No, I think Kyson I had the cheaper version. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did we do that shit? <laughs> yeah, no, Kim's. Kim, she taking pictures with the damn robot in the car and shit. I guess I have just not noticed any of that. That's Girl, crazy. I said I'll never buy another skin product. I'll never buy nothing else to support that family. So ever. we we didn't even do our song, <laughs> do we? No, we not yet. Do you have yours or do you know which one you want? Uh yeah, I have it. Okay, because I think it's I switched mine too. Okay, um, let me see. Uh oh, this is so easy. Is it? Oh, okay. I'm oh, okay. Um, and I can't believe you're hurting me. I met your girl. What a difference. What you see in her, you ain't seen in me. I know this. But I guess it was all just make believe. <laughs> I noticed. Yeah. Hold on, start over again. Uh Oh, where did I start? Okay, I met your girl. Oh, uh, yeah, I met your girl. What a difference. What you see in her, you ain't seen in me. And I guess it was all just make believe. Love, Keisha Cole. Oh, <laughs> love. Man, and when I tell you, I am so disappointed in Keisha. Girl, aren't we all? That, look, that girl let a YN get to her head. I mean, it's, it's not hard to do. <laughs> If you if you've never crashed out about YN, it's not hard to do. But it would be different if it was her first time. This is not Keisha's first rodeo. Man, have you fucked a young nigga? It's been a long time. I didn't get him tatted on me. Man, listen, I ain't ever been there. But I'm just saying, I I can see like them when them YNs make. I ain't gonna lie, Huncho is fine than a bitcho. <laughs> <laughs> Huncho is fine. Uh-huh. So and tall as fuck. Hell yeah. I think when them when them things all come together, it, it really be fucking you up letting something like that go. Like he's fine yeah. and he tall uh, and he yeah. got money. And he got big meat. Hell. No, I was gonna come with it. <laughs> <laughs> that was he was already bringing that. Boy, and Huncho was probably drilling Keisha into the damn floor. Hell yeah, drilling her drilling the love all out of her. <laughs> just just going <laughs> tearing up all Taking inside. all the love out and just putting lust. <laughs> He said, I'm finna replace all that. Hell yeah. He said, oh, love. It's gone. Okay. Nah, that's crazy. I was like, not you on stage crying, Girl, Keisha. Keisha on stage. About- <laughs> Sent from heaven. I want to be the one that you believe. Girl, Keisha, go, go to the back. Take five minutes. Okay. <laughs> get your fucking self together. Go and you come back here and sing like you're supposed to. Hit a pillow. Do something. <laughs> Please come out here and act like you got some goddamn shit. Okay, stress. go call the nigga. Do something. I, but I don't entirely fault her. Because there's something about, something about nigga under 30. It's just something about him. I I do not even look at niggas under 30. I'll and be honest with you. Listen, I don't look hard. <laughs> but it's, honestly, it's like, I have, I'm not going to go under 20. You're better than I. The fuck? I'm not going to go under 20, but I definitely 25, 26, 27 year old nigga. Yes, can get it. Do you know a twenty-seven-year-old and a twenty-five? They're almost the same age. Like the difference, the age difference between them and your daughter is almost the same as the age difference between you and them. I had her young. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's how you gonna rationalize it? I had her young. I was a baby yeah. raising a baby. <laughs> I was a baby. Now I'm grown. 
<laughs> That's crazy. I honestly, I'll say anything. Like I wouldn't do anything under ten years. Ten years, okay. ten years and up is cool, but. I can't do nothing with a nigga that's like under like 33. <laughs> I don't. It's just. I won't even fuck him. Oh. I mean, that's. I, I, did you, I wasn't finna marry the nigga. Uh, you, what about if he was like, oh, you know, B, tap my name on you so I know it's real? I honestly want to. Like, I want to love a nigga so bad I want to tell his name. Oh, wow. And be up there like Keisha. I'm not going to be upstairs. You'll be on the podcast. Hey, <laughs> best friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna be on stage crying. Uh, you gonna be on this couch crying? Yeah, in private, like a lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the fuck? Not out loud. Not everybody in front of the masses. Yeah, you not know, everybody can see me. But I definitely, I, I have said before, like I would get a nigga's name. But, I would never. But I've just never, I've just never found a nigga. That I'd be like, I would get your name. Like I've never felt that way. Oh yeah, no, I would never. I want to. Mm-mm. I want to. What's your okay? Oh, it's my turn to do my song. Yeah. Okay. I think mine is fairly easy too. Oh, I hope so. Shit. I got trouble with my friends. Trouble in my life. <laughs> Problems when you don't come home at night. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds familiar. But when you do, you always start a fight. But I can't be alone. I need you to come on home. I know you're messing around. But who the hell else is going to hold me down? I don't know. I got to be I out my mind. It kills me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it kills me. Man, Melanie was doing her best begging on that song for this badass damn, nigga. Damn, damn, I'm damn, damn. Like, I know you're messing around, but who else got who else got my back but you? Damn. Did, has she released any more music? I think she did something recently, but I don't know. Melanie was in her bag. Hell yeah. She was in her bag there for a little second, too. Got her little video was good, too. I gotta be out of my mind. I think it's gonna work this time. My partner wants Damn. to leave, but the other side still believes. I have not seen Melanie Fiona in so long. Let me go look and see if she got an Instagram. And it kills me how much I really love you. Oof. Mm. Oh, yep. Yeah. The MF oh. World or something like that. Oh, yeah. She got a song called Say Yes and I Choose You out now. Okay, Melanie Fiona. Okay, period. Didn't she get married and have a baby or something like that, too? Did she? She's still a little thing. She still yeah, look good. Yeah, she sure do. She look real good. Okay, Melanie. Period. And yeah, she had kids, everything. Oh, he fine, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a, okay. Well, a hey, best friend. Mm, yeah, I'm over here. Mm. <laughs> Ain't it a blessing? You are listening to another episode of Here You Podcast. Podcast. This is Tan. And this is B. You ready to get started, bro? Let's go. Hey, let's get it. All right, so you ready to get started this week with the shit? Let's go. Okay, let's start off with, let's do a hundred rounds. Okay. Ashanti. Baby hairs. Oh, baby. Nelly. Uh, fuck. Dale, not legend. I know. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Would you say her favorite word? Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. I'm really drawing a blank, y'all. Dang. I was foolish. Okay, okay, okay. okay. All right, y'all. So, you know, we reported, you know, to y'all earlier this year Mm -hmm. that Ashanti was actually pregnant Mm -hmm. and she did give birth uh, to their little boy Mm -hmm. just a few months ago. Mm -hmm. And now, y'all, it's being reported (laughs) that Ashanti is actually pregnant with baby number two. Use your mouth. (laughs) Swallow. Okay, use your butt. Use your butt is so crazy. <laughs> Ain't that the Mormons do? <laughs> Use your butt is so wild. Do what you can. You can, you absolutely can do it. <laughs> damn, nigga, you can't nothing nowhere else. You, I saw a comment. It was like, uh, "Damn, Cornell, get off her back." <laughs> Not for real. Let her breathe. No, for real. Get for off real. Of her. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. It's very fast. Very. But also, I get it. I get it too. Yeah, I didn't wait it. I didn't wait it. You know, I'm out not now my peak, but like I you know, I had a good little run with this body. Yeah, for real. Um, I'm still, you know, they still don't have to fuck with me. But I'm at a at an age now. And let's go ahead and just knock it out. Like I'm not finna lose all this weight and get back fine if you just wreck it up again. So let's just 
pop them out until, until we done and then i can yeah. get back fine again i mean i think for me personally i i understand it too but i'm more so worried about from like a health perspective oh yeah it's very unhealthy <laughs> it's it's dangerous it's, actually it's very unhealthy and depending on what kind of pregnancy she had or what kind of you know she had a c-section it's even more dangerous yeah i mean it's not unheard of right. obviously people have gone back to their six-week appointment pregnant again and stuff like that but, but over 40 yeah it, i mean but at any age Oof. But I I don't understand how y'all be so horny after everything that ha- like there is it took me a long time to want to have sex again. I believe it. I would be nervous. I'd be like, ooh. Yeah, the, yeah, you I'm, like, I'm too fertile, Cornell. <coughs> it wasn't even Cornell. I'm, I'm I'm gonna get pregnant. It wasn't even about getting pregnant again. I was like, damn, this nigga gonna rip my stitches. <laughs> my holes. This nigga, this nigga gonna, gonna rip me a new one, literally. <laughs> 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 they done sew me back up. I'm tight now. They finna hit. This nigga finna destroy wreck, it. Yeah, go wreck shop. Yeah, for real. And that was my main thought. I was like, damn, this is going to hurt. Ooh. That and Boo Boo. And I was like, ooh, it's going to hurt so bad. Did it? No. I was just in my head just more like it's going to hurt worse. Did sex like, hurt? Yes. I felt like it, it, that thing was brand new. That thing was brand new. Why he broke your heart, man? Damn near. Shit, I could have I could have not been a, a Mary. <laughs> <laughs> when I could, a Virgin Mary. <laughs> <laughs> I could have because... That like yes, it it wasn't it wasn't like first time painful, but it was like this this don't feel But maybe she had a C section. Even still, I mean that that didn't change. It's still like even if you have a C section, I mean it doesn't change that much. Right. Everything. But like I don't know, your body just don't feel the same after you have a baby. Like you just you feel a little off. I believe that. And that's what I kind of worry about. Because, you know, it's this, um, like, foodie guy that I follow on Instagram. Mm-hmm. And him and his fiance, they had the cutest baby earlier this year. Mm-hmm. And, like, all of these people are in the comments. They call the baby Chunks. Mm-hmm. All the people in the comments are like, oh, when are y'all going to have, like, another Chunks? Wow. They got online. And he said, like, some of the realest shit I ever heard, especially from a man. Mm-hmm. He was like, well, I did my research and a woman doesn't feel like herself for two years. Effects. So he was like, we're not having another baby for at least two years. So stop right. asking. I know that's right. And I was like, respect. Mm-hmm. It's not no like, I'm just finna, you know. Yeah, I'm finna shoot a club up again. Exactly. He was like, yeah, no. He was like, her, his uh, fiance then Kenny. Mm-hmm. He was like, I'm, we're giving Kenny time for her to get her body back. I know that's and right. And for Kenny to feel good. And I was like. That's a man right there. Okay, would you want your body back or would you just want to get it out the way? I mean, at this point, I I don't really have an urge for a bunch of children. Mm-hmm. So I'd really kind of be cool with one, two max. Mm-hmm. That's it. Yeah. Would you feel like, I, I guess I understand her just be like, I mean. I mean, I get it too, but I just. I just worry about how dangerous it is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, it's, it's again, it's not impossible. People have done it before. Right, and had right, multiple right. kids and your grandmama push out a baby went right back in the cotton fields and everything like yeah, that. Yeah, she also started having babies at 10. Yeah, so her body, <laughs> that was a young body. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is considered a geriatric pregnancy, so it has more added risk to it. But I mean, I could see why people be like, you know what, let's fuck it. Yeah, let's just do it. I mean, I get it as well. I get mm-hmm. the logic behind it. But this, this is the, the the psychological on being pregnant is just a lot. Like it is yeah. a lot from going to sleep on your stomach to not being able to be comfortable and you just don't feel like it's yourself. been two years pregnant. Yeah, and it's and I mean you don't know how she's feeding, especially if you breastfeeding and stuff like that too. Like you just do not feel like yourself for like a long time. Afterwards. And Nelly has other children, doesn't it? <coughs> I had this conversation. I know he had a daughter, but I also know he raised his um his sisters. sisters yeah. So I know he had a daughter that's grown, but I feel like he had another baby or something. Oh, hold on now. What? He has Chanel Haynes, she's 30. Uh-huh. Cornell Haynes the third, 25. Okay. Sean Thomas. Okay, these are the kids that he adopted oh, from his two. sister. Sean and Sydney Thomas. And then Kareem. Ken Kia Ken Ken Kate, I don't know how you say that. Uh-huh. That's the one him and Ashanti just had. So Okay. This is baby number three and four for him. Okay. Okay. Yeah, how does Cornell how cause I know Cornell grown too, ain't he? Yeah, Cornell's twenty five. Oh yeah, he got grown kids. Mm-hmm. Let nigga, let nigga literally starting over. Yeah, starting over for real, for real. But I guess. Yeah, I mean, 
I, I like I said, I understand the logic and I understand being like, oh, the you know what? Of it, yeah. yeah, like we're in love. Let's do this while we can. Mm-hmm. It's such a blessing that Ashanti is able to like carry a baby full term. Mm-hmm. And Ashanti was still performing and everything. Yeah, I want to get, a bit, get, get your ass down. Why don't you attack us down? <laughs> you ain't good. Go somewhere. Talking about, I don't feel good, y'all, but I'm here. The fuck? <laughs> Nobody asked you to do that, Ashanti. Like, everyone. Now she at TNT. Everyone will understand. And I said this before in the park. Everyone will understand if people are like, I'm sick, y'all. I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That baby almost. Like, I get it. No one to hold it against you. Be like, that bitch. She didn't come out here when she was eight and a half months. Her and Kareem. And perform only you. <laughs> hate that hoe. Like, nobody said that to her. And it's not a fact that she was like, I'm not, de- I'm not feeling good, y'all, but I'm still here. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine, Ashanti. Okay. Nah. That's I, fine. We're proud to them, though. Yeah. I do think it's very interesting that we have gone from the weird hug at the verses Yeah. Uh. To baby number two allegedly. I was gonna say like that's a like that's a hell of a story. Like I got your mom yeah, back at the real. verses. Hell yeah. She wasn't trying to fuck with me, but I told yeah, her. Yeah, everybody I, doubted me, but look at you. I was yeah. like, okay, I told her I said I changed. Yeah. And she believed me. <laughs> For real. I don't know, but having two kids, two under two. Ooh. That and is you're a, over forty. Y'all be tired. They must have, I mean, I don't say must have, but I can see them having like nannies. and. Oh, yeah. I mean, they have the resources for Mama it. Mama moving you know, in and taking blessings. care of the kids and stuff like that. It's it's us common folk that got to do all that shit by yourself. I, listen, I'm tired now. Girl. I ain't going to have baby start crying and be like, oh, my God. Oh, look at it. You Go all right. Back. You all right. You roll over. <laughs> <laughs> I was listening to my sister's podcast earlier, and her friend was like, she's like, the way I feel a baby start crying, I'm just shut the door. <laughs> no, for real. I'm like, I, for this shit. I was like, damn, I feel that. Like, I'm gonna shut the door. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna go upstairs and I'm just gonna get in the bed. Cause I know, I know you're okay. I know you. Okay. <laughs> I know you're all right. No, yeah. literally, you'll be fine. Yeah, you just talking. You'll be fine, child. You're just talking. You're talking <laughs> in your language. Well, prayers to them because that's a, that's a lot. Yes, of shit no, you is. know, like we said, allegedly Ashanti, you know. But how the how the who the fuck found <laughs> like? I gotta find out there early. I don't know. Somebody went through a trash, found pregnant. Okay. Test. You don't know who it could be your mama's. <laughs> and that's one hell of a story right there. Girl, no, for real, for real. Girl, you see that other that lady, um, she was like, she thought she was on menopause, but she ended up pregnant. She like in her sixties. Oh girl, oh, abort, abort. Girl, <laughs> the hell not everybody's supposed to, Yeah, anything like that ain't supposed to be here. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's Bruh. so many obstacles. That baby's supposed to be Bruh, here. When she when that baby's eighteen, she'll be seventy eight. Come on now, dog. Girl, that baby's supposed to be here. Come on now. Amy, you supposed to raise it? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody else supposed to raise the baby? Hell yeah. That's crazy. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Sixty? I'm cool, dog. I'm I'm cool. I am not having no baby at sixty years old. I just feel like I just I don't feel like you just, you're just always tired. 64? She would be 82. Girl, but she look at 64. Girl, look at what she wearing. Her <laughs> <laughs> pockets all turned inside Girl. out. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Girl, to go to the clinic? <laughs> oh, we got nothing to say. What am I gonna do? Carrie, okay, because you're gonna be raising it. Hell yeah, you finna be responsible. <laughs> it's your baby, boo. <laughs> yeah, nah. Girl, that's prayers wild. Not for real. Yeah, no prayers. <coughs> prayers to prayers to Shanti. Mm-hmm. Prayers to sixty-four year old. <laughs> <laughs> prayers for everybody, dog. Not for real. All right, let's go ahead and go over to our next topic. Okay. Uh, let's do a uh, hundred rounds. Okay. Roddy Rich. <laughs> the box. <laughs> Nipsey. Doo doo eyes. <laughs> Get them shit cut little eyes. I don't trust niggas with no eyes like that. I do not care. The mucus eyes. Hell yeah. <laughs> not if you get the new mucus next eyes. Hell yeah. Ain't niggas with eyes like that. They don't mean you will. Yeah, his eyes are light. Um, let's do California. Okay. Okay. And so they all the same picture. 
in the yeah, sun. Yeah, for real. Get their eyes Trying to get their eyes in the right lighting. Nah, for real, for real. Okay, so uh, Roddy Rich, um, there was actually a YouTuber, mm-hmm. um, and he purchased a storage locker on some like storage war shit. Mm-hmm. And um, he paid two hundred and eighty dollars mm-hmm. for the locker, mm-hmm. and um, inside there were um, there were like two suitcases in there. Mm-hmm. So he started going through the suitcases, and one of the suitcases he found like a bunch of um, like designer clothes, brand new tags. Okay. Another suitcase he actually found a Grammy, and that Grammy belonged to Roddy Rich. Mm-hmm. So he posted it. He's like, oh, my gosh, I found Roddy Rich's uh, Grammy. Da, 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 da. So apparently Roddy actually tried to uh, reach out to the dude or Roddy's team. Mm-hmm. Roddy claims that the dude actually asked for an AP watch. Damn. And $50,000 $50, in exchange for returning the Grammy. Well, it shouldn't even work that much. Roddy said that apparently the reason why the Grammy was actually inside of a storage unit is because he had a um, an assistant. Mm-hmm. The assistant ended up getting into an accident, I believe he said, mm-hmm. and the assistant was incapacitated and couldn't keep up with the payments of the storage unit. That's why the storage unit was lost. Damn. That's a crazy way to find it out, too, like or finding out where your stuff is. Yeah, for Somebody real. Somebody in a coma can't even tell you. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's wild. Pretty, pretty wicked. Yeah. So, long story short. But ain't that, ain't that called extortion? I mean, that's what it sounds like to me. I, mean, I don't know if you're selling somebody, selling your stuff back to people, but I don't know what, what point some becomes extortion. I don't know. Let's look up the definition mm-hmm. of extortion. Because it does sound a little extorty to me. Extorty? Extorty? Yeah. Niggas love short enough words, don't extortion they? Extortion definition. The practice of obtaining something, especially money, through force or threats. <laughs> Damn. I mean, if anything. Uh, so technically it's not extortion. No, it's not extortion. But it sounded a little shady. I mean, it sounded like Roddy Rich's people kind of gave him a little shake up uh-huh. to go ahead and get him to, you know, go ahead and give everything up. Did he? Yeah, he did. Did he, I'm, I wonder if he got paid for it or paid anything. They gave him, if I'm not mistaken, they gave him $10,000. Um, but then they also asked him, like, nigga, where the clothes at? And he was like, I left those. I only brought the Grammy. Damn. Now he wanted the clothes, too, though. Yeah, so they, they pretty much wanted everything. Mm-hmm. But he gave him the Grammy, so I guess that's the most important part. Okay. I don't know. I mean, I've all, I ain't going to lie. I've always wanted to, like, go buy one of them storage units. Mm-hmm. I actually bought, uh, I downloaded this app called Storage Treasures. Mm-hmm. And it tells you about the storage units like around you and like the storage sales and stuff. But what makes the people that own a storage unit not have them go through the storage unit locker first? Because I don't think they can go through them. Why not? After they sell it, you don't think so? What you mean? Like once it's passed due, you don't feel like they can go in there and sell them? I don't think so. Or look I, they can, them? I think they can sell it, but they can't go through and like. I think whenever you own a storage unit and you stop paying, I don't think it becomes the property of the storage unit. I mean, they own it, though. I mean, yeah, and if they're able to sell it. Because, I, I, I mean, I just don't understand the difference between that and, like, you know, you don't pay the bill in your apartment. They can come through and get all your shit after a certain time. So let me think, like, what, what, why wouldn't they go through it first? And get whatever they want out. Yeah, or get the good shit out. Right. That's my sister. Mm-hmm. I saw it. We get the good shit out first. Uh, I'm going to call you right back, Trini. I'm recording. (laughs) Bye. (laughs) She didn't know what to say to you. Girl, no, nothing at all. Yeah, I mean, I guess that is a good point. Like, what is stopping them from just going through it? Yeah, and checking what they want. I don't know, bruh. Them storage units, I do feel like it is very, very easy for you to fall behind on them. Hell yeah, because I mean. And stop paying. Do I want to eat or am I going to pay on my storage unit? Girl. I'm t- and after my mom had passed away, mm-hmm. we had like this store- big ass storage unit with like all her stuff in it. Mm-hmm. Bruh, I was spending by myself $125 a month on it. And it was like three of us paying into it. Oh, wait. Three people paying one. Girl, you're that shit was like one twenty five. Girl, that shit was like three hundred some dollars a month. God damn. Yes. I was like, shit. I was like, bro, and literally, it's just like sitting over there. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, stuff sitting there. Yeah. I was like, yeah, nah. It's time to 
clear it out. Yeah, it's time yeah. to go ahead and clear that out. Because that's why I'm like, it's very easy. There was a couple months I was like, man, get, get rid of it. Okay, <laughs> no, just throw it all out. Yeah, nah, but especially whenever you. you know that they're not going to do nothing but what they did with Roddy Rich's stuff, which is sell, sell it. it. Yeah, I don't know. I just be thinking about it as shit you got to go through to find stuff. I know. And. <sighs> Dealing, digging through shit and, and some storage units they're not like temperature controlled so they be yeah. like outside they be Moldy out with the elements and, yeah. and critters and stuff I'm like i ain't got time for all that shit i hate going through bargain bins at places girl I feel they be too that. congested and got too much shit in there i'm like i ain't finna right dig through i'm scared to put my hand in there i'm gonna dig through all these panties i'm gonna dig through all these panties to find my size oh, girl i'm so sad dirt cheap clothes uh, that's why people be like uh wash your panties because you know people be hell yeah people be touching them and stuff girl, I say like that. loose panties are not packaged and this is also why i do not wear drawers because i saw a nigga uh, you seen the people doing that uh <laughs> Um, listen, but we don't judge. Oh, girl, everybody doing it. Girl, all the niggas talking about I sleep, I secretly stiff your panties or your drawers. I'm just like, yeah, I niggas be doing that. They be in the laundry basket, just putting it over their head. Okay, be walking around while hell, you gone. Hell yeah, <laughs> you got your shit on like a mask. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I know niggas do shit like that. Like, girl, that's if I walked in and somebody had my panties on their head, my pants. <laughs> If I walked in, the nigga had his, my pants oh, on his yeah, head. He ain't gonna see you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga had my pants on his head. He not gonna know I'm coming in the room. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't gonna know you there at all. Yeah, no. You gonna start him? He be <laughs> <laughs> wrapped up in my pants. Oh yeah, nigga has to go. Nigga got to Hell go. Hell yeah, nigga, get the fuck out of here, weirdo. Have you ever smelled the man's drawers before? No. Have you? <laughs> Oh, you got to, no. <laughs> to go. You got to go. No. You got to go. Of course not. Panty sniffer. <laughs> Boxer sniffer. I, mean, you did, I, 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 I like men's smell. Like, that's so strange. Bruh, there's a difference between liking men's smells and liking men's ass. The, I don't smell the ass part. So what do you smell? The front. <laughs> the front part. <laughs> Where the balls be. I was like, I smell the ball hammock, that part. <laughs> the ball hammock? Yeah. Oh, that's got to be the title. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, nah, that ass be the... <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but, but the worst part. Because I'm wiping good. I'd rather smell the other part. Why are you smelling that? I don't... I don't I love you probably going to do a spell. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I'm smelling it. I like pheromones. I like nigga pheromones. So that and un, uh, uh, under their arms be like the most like where they smell like their true essence. I love it. I just that's not something I do often. I'm not saying that, but I've done it before. When was the last time? Oh, it's been a while. It's a while. It was early this year. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, it, was, it was this year. Were you were you about to wash the clothes and you smelled them? They were on the floor. You they were on the floor. Them? Like I picked them up because I folded them up and I just took a little. I was like, hmm, smells good. They smell really good. I don't think it's like, I so saw, okay, well, damn, I saw my niggas. I guess I see why y'all do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. I'm like, what's the difference between a nigga doing that and you? I don't know. I feel like it's more acceptable if I do it. I don't know. I'm a woman. <laughs> I'm just I'm just a girl. <laughs> I don't know. Bruh, a nigga ain't ever got to worry about me smelling his drawers. I'm not doing that. I definitely have smelled a nigga's drawers before. Hell no. Nah. Mm -hmm. Pheromones. Ew. Yeah. And then you smell the ball sack? Oh. I'm not, yeah, I'm not smelling no booty part. Ooh, I, I think I'm about to throw up. I'm not smelling the booty part of your pants. I'm not going to do that. I'm not smelling none of it. Uh, you ever smelled a sock? Mm -mm. I don't believe it. I've never smelled a sock. I don't believe it. I've never. I don't like be like that. I've never smelled a sock. Oh, uh, what about a sweatshirt? Oh yeah, especially like I can say right up under here. You smell the armpit part yes. of a sweatshirt. Yes, that's what I'm fair moms be at. Where you want to go talk to somebody? And it's not. <laughs> wait, <laughs> what? Now you're not gonna talk to somebody. <laughs> it'll Something be strange going on here. It'll be musty. Something either. suspicious. It'll be musty. Are you looking for must? No, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't want you to be musty, but I want you to have a, like, a hard, I want you to smell like a, a hard day's work. That's must. No, you can be, you can smell like you've worked and not be musty. Like, slightly sweaty. I feel like there's a very fine line there, dog. Fam, you can, you can go outside and mow the grass and not be musty. But you're going to smell like outside. 
Yeah, but you put on deodorant, like you don't smell must. You smell like it's just smell like a. I what's the next topic? I feel like I'm strange. I feel like I, I feel like <laughs> stranger, stranger. Yeah, my strange addiction. I ain't even know what the fuck this is. I done smelled a nigga a time or two. That's it. I done smelled a nigga draws a few times. Okay, I'm not crazy. I don't need no help. I don't even talk to that lady. I just smelled a nigga. I just. I'm about to pull out some glasses. I just a, a notepad and I a just, pen. I just smelled a seat. Actually, of, Simone is here. We <laughs> to, I, you might need a session. I just smelled a seat of a nigga pants from time or two. That's it. That's all. It ain't something I gotta do. I'm not. Comp- I'm not compelled to do it. It ain't something I did. Oh, you're not compelled to do it, and you did it. I'm, I guess it ain't something I gotta keep. Like it ain't something in my head. Smell them. No, I smelled it a time or two. See, I, so you mean tell me if there are a pair of drawers on the floor right now? I'm not sniffing just anybody draw fam. Like that's not what the fuck this is. It ain't. I don't have a panty fetish. I'm like a draw. <laughs> no a, a bo- I don't have a boxer fetish. I just want. I had. Just I had got an ethical fetish. I had my nigga fetish. Yeah, I just want to smell him. <laughs> that is whack. That is crazy work. It is crazy work. I just know. had to make sure. No. All right, don't leave your pennies around me. <laughs> <laughs> True sniffer for real. <laughs> okay, I do want to. I do want to know if any other ladies have sniffed some draws before. Oh, okay, yeah, y'all let us know. I've <laughs> never smelled no draws. I ain't smelled no panties. I ain't smell my own panties. Ah, nah, you are. <laughs> Why would I smell my own panties? I wouldn't. You ain't never smelled your own panties? No. I have. I was like, damn. You don't smell your panties as a damn? <laughs> no, not damn like that. <laughs> <laughs> not damn like that. Whoa. I'm like, damn, like, panties are, <laughs> they right there. They right there. Yeah. Up to Bucciarella. So I'm just like, <laughs> Bucciarella? <laughs> <laughs> Just the different things that come outside and you Damn. Know just like discharge woman having a natural discharge. I'm like, that's crazy. Oh yeah, no, I I ain't smelling all that shit. I don't know if I just smelled it up. I've definitely picked up some panties and smelled them before. Hmm. But I'd be doing it. I'd be doing that to try to see who You'd be doing shit. No, because you know you know other girls in the house. You gotta make sure everybody hey, draws be everywhere. Are they clean or are they dirty? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good are they clean or they dirty? I don't know. I do know how to tell. And then, and we just go from there. Damn. So yeah. Well, yeah. Y'all let us know if you smell the uh, ball hammock. <laughs> let us know. Hope you sniffed the niggas' draws before. Tell me. I want to know. All right. Let's go ahead and go over to our next topic. All right. Uh, or this is our last topic actually. Okay. Let's do a uh, hundred rounds. Sexy red. Mm. Come shake some. Ooh. Uh, St. Louis. Gonorrhea. Arch. Okay. Okay, so Sexy Red, um, there's actually a man that came out this week. Mm -hmm. He claims to be the baby daddy of Sexy Red. I don't know. I think he might be the youngest. Their new baby's baby daddy. You think it's really her baby daddy, though? I mean, she didn't say that it wasn't. Uh Uh-huh. She didn't. Yeah, she didn't deny it. Mm -hmm. Um, So he actually came out. How embarrassing. Girl, embarrassing as fuck. Um, And... He was saying, well, he actually posted a, a video mm-hmm. of him talking to a woman who was supposed to be sexy red. Mm-hmm. Who it sounded he, like allegedly, her. Allegedly. Sounded like her, allegedly. Mm-hmm. Um, and he is claiming that sexy red gave him HSV2. Mm. Um, and on the video, she's like, I don't give a fuck, nigga. Yeah. Uh-huh. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Burned you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sure. That's mm-hmm. fine. Mm-hmm. So, of course, he started posting all that. And then... Um, Sexy Red had posted and said, on my kid's soul, the real reason he threw me off, I found all that gay shit in his phone. Ooh. Let's talk about it, freaky bum. Ooh. And she said, y'all don't know how much I hate this man. I could tell him anything. He don't care. Like, I fucked hella niggas on you. Bye. He reposted and he said, I'm too bold to be gay slash down low. <laughs> or- <I'm> too bold. <laughs> okay live live loud Mm -hmm. i'm too bold to be gay slash down low or any of that miss me with that homo shit no disrespect to the lgbt them okay (laughs) lgbt them nah for real shorten the shit up (laughs) lgtb them yeah i like that (laughs) he said i'm too bold y'all but but respect y'all okay i love y'all and sexy had went and posted and said who my baby daddy biggest op 
I got a big fat wet pussy waiting for you. Whoa, I did not know what was going there. He reposted and said, damn, I wish I would have seen this last night before I tried to be cool. Now let's let the games begin. Go. Y'all ready? I'm done sparing your hot pocket pussy. Play Whoa. Ball. What? What? <laughs> your hot pocket pussy what? He said, let's play ball. Ah, oh, damn. Yep, low key, your baby daddy can be one of your biggest fucking ops. Girl. Like, that's so disheartening. Because I coming from someone who's had two ops. <laughs> This should be op party. Hell, it's op party. This should be kind of blowing you. Like, why do you hate me so much, girl? You didn't. And at one point, you didn't hate me. The niggas be jealous, very much so. And I think that there are some niggas out there <laughs> that like they really get upset that like you're doing good. Yeah, damn. She now told her she didn't need me. She showing me she do. Right. She don't. You know, like mm-hmm. I think that that does bother some men, and they just be kind of in their feelings about it. And want to humble you too. That part definitely want to humble you and make you feel like. I think in my situation, I don't think they were humbling, but I think they definitely was like, I'm going to fuck up or try to fuck up her good thing. And stuff right. Whatever she life. got going on. Oh, yeah, the good things happen to her. I'm going to fuck it up. Yeah. I mean, and some men are like that and you got to <laughs> keep an eye out for them. Hell yeah. Because it is niggas out there that'll be like, yeah, no, I don't want you to ever do better. Mm. I don't care if my kids are sleeping in a plastic bag. Hell Yeah. And they and they don't have nowhere to uh, lay their head at night. Sleep together. Yeah, like some men are really like that, Not and they'll real. go somewhere else and sleep just fine, and be even, e- even in an even deeper sleep because they know you ain't got <laughs> shit going. Not an even yeah, sleeping real good. <laughs> yeah, the nigga being rim. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga you had, hungry? <coughs> you up with a stomach ache? Yeah, the nigga had twelve uninterrupted hours of sleep. Girl, that part. And you every time the car alarm go off. Hell yeah, you. <laughs> jumping uh, yeah somebody outside <laughs> some niggas are like that now i will say i do think like the whole video of sexy red where she's like yeah nigga i burnt you i know one thing i've been at a point where a nigga i got so tired of talking to a nigga i'm just like yeah nigga what, whatever. whatever yeah whatever yeah, yeah i got a third sure. toe whatever yeah, yeah sure whatever the fuck you say yeah, yeah i hate you my yep. coochie sideways yeah, yeah. oh is. my gosh i fuck so many niggas yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, I definitely have like come on now yeah, and you just be saying shit like no, I was just saying HSV two is kind of crazy, but I mean, but that's I mean, but that's something that's a nigga would say that you feel like he would embarrass you by saying that. Yeah, literally, especially that, whenever you use somebody like sexy rap. But that's, and, but that's crazy, spiting yourself to say some stuff like that too. Yeah, facts. I don't know. I remember I ain't gonna lie. I told my baby baby daddy before. I was like, these kids ain't yours. <laughs> Knowing damn well. <laughs> Knowing damn well that like I wasn't fucking like it's a hundred percent right. Nobody has to ask me nothing. Knowing damn well, but sometimes you just be tired of a nigga. And you just be like, get out of my face. And that ain't yours. <laughs> you can leave. <laughs> That's crazy. That get, is crazy. I tried, I tried to get me a nigga to leave me alone. Somebody I told him the baby one his. You can go. I said you don't have to be here anymore. You can go. The baby ain't yours. Yeah, your service ain't even needed, dog. Yeah, you, don't, you, don't, you don't have to be here. Like <laughs> you're not even like it's not real. <laughs> It don't count or anything. It's not real. Not that girl said it's not real. It's not real. Just it don't that, count. It don't count. Like, you like, stop lying. I'm not lying. It's not Girl, say the baby ain't yours. It doesn't make a nigga click out. And at that point, sometimes you just be so tired. You don't care. Oh, girl, I definitely, I've been there. Sometimes I you just really, don't I, care. You been cheating on me? Said, yeah, I did. I fucked yeah, all these niggas. I fucked everybody. Yeah. I'm a hoe. I'm a slut. I fucked your daddy. I fucked your brother. Yeah. What else you want? Yeah. I'm a hoe. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah, yeah okay. Mm-hmm. Big that? slut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You just, you just don't care no more. You just like, yeah. whatever you gotta that's, say. That's my problem. Like, oh, I got a smart ass mouth, bro. Nah, I that. will say some hurtful ass shit to a nigga in a heartbeat, dog. I, <sighs> I've said shit before that I was like, you know what, Tim? You go too far. Nah, I definitely been like, and, and this is where you you gonna this be here next you, week <laughs> <laughs> after after you wake up from the nigga ducking your shit because you done said some real crazy shit like I said some shit before I was like I'd fight you I'd be my ass girl I guess I slide me too if I saw some dude but I'll tell somebody in a heartbeat you actually should leave me alone before I say something that you gonna want to fight me nah I hate when nigga be like say it say it you don't want me to man because listen. I'd be real toxic and bring up all that childhood trauma you brought up. <laughs> Everything you confided in me Hell about. Hell yeah. That's why your daddy don't like you, bitch. <laughs> you bastard. Your own daddy don't fuck with you. Like, I will really say, I will really say some shit Girl. that I would just never in real life say, but like, at this point, I don't give a fuck. Girl, I remember one time, this one nigga I was dating, he made me so mad. I was like, 
Bitch, I will fucking spit on you. Ooh. They had to be and he jealous. was like, oh, you want to spit on me? I was like, nigga, I got it ready. Not you was hot. Not Girl, you was hot. I looked. I was like. I said, you know what? Nah, fair. You spit on me. I'm, I'm. I said, I'm really trying my best. What little sliver of respect I got left for you. Uh, that's what's saving you right now. Because I want to spit a fucking loogie in your fucking Not a heart of a woman saving him. <laughs> <laughs> it's a heart of a Whoa. woman. Damn, not a little bit. Girl, I was like, that. that's the only thing that's saving me from not spitting a loogie in your fucking eye. Pam, if I ever got to the point where I feel like I'm going to spit on you, like the respect is gone. Girl, at that point, we got a fight fight. No, for real. And if you, if you say some shit about spit on me like i'm i you i'm like you son of that shit because girl you're not that crazy girl you're not that damn crazy I, and the sad thing is i am yeah see i'm not good because i i push nigga buttons <laughs> i you find say do it yeah i bet you won't see and that's the type of shit that made me do it you bet not i and here i go <laughs> not <nothing. laughs> <laughs> what you gonna do if i i said what you, what you gonna do if i do it <laughs> do it and see you bet not fucking do it well, I'm one of them. I'm like, you better fucking die. I, I feel like King Kong. I ain't gonna lie. And probably can't even fight. But <laughs> <laughs> I don't be talking about shit. Girl. I do not care. Well, I be telling nigga, go get your sister. Go get somebody. Damn. Go get somebody that I, I can fight. Or we can. I, I remember I told a nigga before, we can fight man to man or woman to woman. Whatever one you want to do. Damn. <laughs> That's why I'm like, bruh, I, I know I go too far. I can't lie. That's why I don't even like going to that level because I'm going to get there. And see, I don't fight niggas no more. <laughs> I don't fight niggas no more because I found a nigga who really was willing to fight back. <laughs> <laughs> like, I used to niggas being like, no, nah, don't stop hitting me. I don't want to hurt I don't want to hurt you. Nigga said, all right, bet. <laughs> Square up then. <laughs> nigga want to fight you like to see you like on bed. <laughs> Like Tzatziki on baddies. Bro, I don't know. I went down like a Tzatziki fight. That a fart? That a whole the other day. compilation? Bruh, I watched one video where Tzatziki was like, come on, baby girl. Let me show you. Come on, baby girl. She's like, come on, baby girl. Come on. Tzatziki got fucking hands. Oh, off. I know. Did you see when she busted that girl lip? Yeah, and the girl like lost her tooth or something like that. Girl, I was, I was like, my uh. sister turned baddies on on Thanksgiving. Crazy. I know. <laughs> but... <laughs> The girl who, like, she knocked out her, like, tooth uh-huh. and busted her lip open. She wanted to fight somebody else. She showed up with a mouth guard on. Too late. Bitch, <laughs> <laughs> it's too late. Girl, she had that mouth guard on. I was like, this is fucking insane. It's pretty It's pretty crazy. Yeah. Because why is you doing that? But, no, I'm very much team keep your hands to yourself. Not for but real. But I can definitely understand Sexy Red being like, all right, nigga, whatever. Yeah, just saying what, like just, just saying whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And Sexy Red had even responded, um... She said, I ain't clearing up shit. Whatever a motherfucker told you, believe it. I literally do not give a fuck. Not nah, filler. And she said, y'all want to know why I don't care? One, it's not true. Two, y'all believe anything on this app. I, uh, yeah. And I, 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 honestly, if some shit like that, you're like, all right, whatever. I'm not trying to def- defend this. You want to see a test or what? Like, right. What, what do you want me to see? You, nigga, you're my baby daddy. I have to deal with you. Yep. That's why I really just did not like doing a baby daddy, mom, baby mama game. Because I'm like, I still had to deal with this nigga. Yeah, at the end of the day. At the end of the day, I, st- I still got to, at the end of the day, <laughs> the baby's still here. I got to deal with this nigga for some part. So I ain't on point of me like cussing, getting mad, and all the other stuff, like crashing out over the shit. Because we still got to be a parent at the end of the day. Right. But I, I could not stand niggas trying to like bring, like, Niggas was just trying to embarrass you. That's, yeah, that's, really a, that's all it is. They was really trying to embarrass you. At the end of the day, nigga, you knew none of us even knew who you were. Not for real. Like, and it's probably something really minor. You know, he probably asked her for something. Some and money. she said no. Yeah. Probably. Can I, can I carry the baby on Texas this year? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> like, it could be something small. And he was just like, you know what? I'm going to just blow all this shit yeah. up. And niggas will really do that type of shit. Crash out over the smallest thing. Yes. And they will just. Up everything. They will throw everything away mm-hmm. over something that it was just like, nigga, you really didn't even have to do all that. Nigga, I just didn't hear my phone. I didn't hear the phone ringing. <laughs> Literally. Like, calm down. Like, why are you running to the house with the car? <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. <laughs> Why you shoot my mama house up? <laughs> I just said, hold on. I said, no. Like, it'd be little things. You'd be like, nigga, has nobody ever told you no in life before? 
I said yes to your mama <laughs> and yes to you dating me. Yes, we to be together, but you got away from me. The first time I said no, you rammed up in my house and shot up my garage. No, niggas are not being told no. <laughs> they're not used to it. And you, and you know. <laughs> they're not used to it. I love when I, I don't want to say reject, but I like, I'm okay. And then they'd be like, Joe fat ass. Uh, okay. Like you know, usually hearing people tell you no. Oh uh, yeah, no or you shit, some Sherlock. Big woman telling you no or anything yeah, like that. No shit. Tell me something I don't Maybe know. I'm so offended when you have a oh gosh, fat bitch got standards. Yeah, fat bitch don't want me. Okay. <laughs> How dare she? Yeah, I don't. <laughs> yeah, I, I, that's some shit. See, and, that's the reason why. I'm just a better person, dog. I think. Because, look, 20, 26, 27 year old 10. Crash out. Pussy ass nigga. What the fuck you say? Crash out. In a Man, heartbeat. Bruh. I'm so proud of you because you used to be. Girl. The biggest. <laughs> <laughs> Big Big ten of crash nah, out. Nah, for real. <laughs> bruh. Bruh, I'm telling you. It used to not take much for me at all. <laughs> I'm I'm actually very. <coughs> I'm proud of you. Me too. I'm proud of you. Me too. Because of growth is. I was telling y'all earlier. I almost got active in Bucky's. You did say that. I'm like, God, Lee. Yeah. I ain't had a fight in a little minute, but it, I mean, I, it's it, like riding a bike. Yeah, you don't forget it. <laughs> yeah, I'll you be don't fine. You to beat ass. I'll be fine. You beat my ass, but we just gonna have to fight until I win. Oh damn! Not fighting Bucky's until you win, girl. It's got to be one or the other, child. God, yikes. Yeah, bro. This is why I've been in a fight, too. Oh, that's why I just be like, Lord, I just don't, I need to stay away from anybody who will make me crash out because I cannot afford a crash out. Nah, for real. We're too, we're too wrong for that. I'm too old for that. Yeah. It's too late for me to, you got bail money? No. It's Christmas, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you know, okay, we were just sitting here saying it's either Kendrick or Christmas. Yeah, and, and, and Belle wasn't part of none of that shit. So you're going to have to hold on God to it. God forbid. You're going to next year. That's not just like, ooh, child. And like, I look at my sisters mm-hmm. and I'm just like, I look at us, I'm like, damn, everybody got a short fuse. <laughs> <laughs> everybody, my youngest sister, the middle sister, the one right below me, mm-hmm. like, Everybody. Who's the biggest crash out out of all of y'all? Oh, girl. I'm gonna have to say Nana. Hers be deserved though. Yeah, Nana be having a lot of hoes hating on her. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. I can see I can see why. Well, yeah, I don't I also don't know if sexy red lip gloss colors have a uh, <laughs> really help her case of people not believing shit. I don't know why people are so moved by sexy red lip glosses is nasty but it's also like clickbait it's like rage baiting yeah i'm just They're literally glitter glosses that you get from the beauty supply i i understand it but i'm i don't care how good it is i'm not clicking on no gonorrhea <laughs> i'm not ordering no gonorrhea gloss. to me what's even more egregious is the fact that they're 88 dollars. whoa yeah for the that whole, for the whole set oh it's a whole set yeah i think it's like seven eight lip glosses but even still nigga what Beauty supply glitter gloss? Yeah, no. Yeah, I'm good. I've been said what Sexy Red needs to come out with is a body glitter. Her mm-hmm. body glitter that she be wearing at them damn shows, mm-hmm. fire. That are some glasses. Oh, glasses would be a good idea yeah, too. Yeah, she. Okay. I mean, she would like a glasses one would be fire for Sexy Red. Yeah, her yeah. body glitter she had on at her show. I was like, damn, that shit fire. It was very sparkly. We saw from clearly where we Girl, were. Yes, like that's what she need to come out with. But yeah, I mean, them lip glosses. I saw that. I was like, girl, not this even, is literally just like rage bait. <laughs> not even a gloss though, but like the fact that she said she don't like condoms and she like to go raw. It doesn't make it like any less non-believable but i'm just like yeah. yeah i don't know i don't know if i believe you baby daddy. i feel like more people like raw than uh protected sex these days I so i don't think that's nothing new either yeah, we definitely do <laughs> no, <laughs> we we definitely do president we, reporting. Pre- president of Caterpillar, we definitely like raw better i ain't gonna hold you Bra- president raw, of raw is <laughs> what raw uh, raw is r-a-w r-a-w yeah raw as well huh raw Oh, wrong. oh, you spelled wrong. Yeah, I spelled no, wrong. I thought it was, I thought, you confused I thought, I thought it was an acronym. <laughs> that girl said raw as well. <laughs> <laughs> raw 
okay. I mean, that too, I guess. Yeah, okay. Well, that works. But yeah. Are you sexy? Yeah, you know, everybody yeah. just... Calm down. Everybody calm down. Everybody relax. We don't need to do all that anymore. We're all new people. So, calm you know. Calm down. It is what it is, but that's all I have in this week with the shits. Okay, so let me go find our hear ye, hear ye. Bet, bet, um, bet, bet. Dang. I actually had one from when we recorded last time that I thought I wanted to do, but let me. Um, and real quick, you know something else I thought was very interesting? Sexy Red Baby Daddy got braces. Yeah. It's something about adults with braces. It's don't <laughs> like. It's something about adults with braces. I'd be like, mm. you waited too long. Yeah, you might as well just keep your teeth. No, nah, I can could, I could feel that though. I, I get it done. It's or like, get Invisalign. Girl, but that should be, that's a lot too. Your I don't should, know. A nigga with brackets. Your should be changing. Like your your should be changing every night. Yeah, different. <laughs> Force them. Yeah, poor. I don't know about that. I'd just rather, yeah, do the metal for six months. Bet. <laughs> nigga okay. definitely had braces though. Um. Okay, hold on. <coughs> mm, excuse me. We almost done. Uh, which one? I wanted to do the girlfriend complain that she didn't get a present. It was another one. What the fuck? I'm just gonna do the last one because I feel like looking. Okay, but um, a few weeks ago, my boyfriend broke up with me out of the blue. It was a I can't do this right now. It might work in a future reason, and was a breakup, or was a and was a breakup, not a break. But we agreed the door wasn't closed. Seven days later, I reached out and asked if he wanted to join me at tennis, which he quickly agreed to. Even asking me to get a drink afterwards, which he said we would start hanging out again. A few days later, we officially got back together. So we were broken up for a total of 11 days. He hooked, up with his na- he hooked up with his neighbor and even took her on a weekend trip with his family. Huh? <laughs> the worst part is that she and I have a casual relationship, so I know her. We've all hung out together and it's a very social neighborhood, so I see her a lot. He came right back to me and said he's all in on us, but while he technically didn't cheat, he had someone emotionally and physical connection with someone else. I've always been so secure in this relationship, and he's never given me a reason to not trust him. But now I can't trust him when he's home alone since he, she lived downstairs. <laughs> Damn. Somebody I'm so grossed move. out and never want to go to his place again because of it. We're at a point where marriage was in the future or in the near future, so it feels like we had to, he had to get out of something. Or it feels like he had to get something out of his system or see if the grass is working elsewhere. And I mean, I get it, but I'm really struggling. Any advice? Girl, break up with him. 11 days is wild. 11 days to go from... 11 days to sleep with somebody and go on a trip is insane. Yeah, I'll fuck you. Not fuck you in 11 days, but you're not going around my family. What? That is wild. You're not meeting anybody. Because then the family, like, who the fuck is this? Right. And where's the other girl from 11 days ago? Yeah, where's your girl that we've known for 11 years? <laughs> and you bring this bitch you know for 11 days somewhere? That is crazy. Yeah, and how. Ha- and I, then it's a neighbor. Yeah, somebody got moved. I was always thinking, yeah, y'all fucking. Her. Yeah, somebody. Get yeah, somebody got lonely moved. Lonely and opening a door. Y'all open the door at the same time and give each other a look, and now somebody fucking. Hell yeah. yeah. No, no, you're not living there. She if you're gonna downstairs. be with me, no. Yeah. How do you feel about the acquaintance part too, like a casual friend or mutual friend? Oh, like her being a mutual friend of the writer. Yeah. Uh, weird, weird behavior. It's a lot. You of just me. saw me with him seven days ago. And that's what you think. Like, is it, I think that's what the breakup was for, though. Yeah, probably. And that's crazy. You broke they up the, out, to yeah. cheat, mm-hmm. and niggas will do it and to say to be like, I never, I never cheated. Yep, because we were broken up, and nigga then did all that in eleven days. Yeah, and you know, yeah, that's a fucking lot, girl. That's too be, much. That'll be the nigga be like, I'm not ready to get married, and then marry somebody <laughs> else in two weeks. <laughs> no, for real. Yeah, you look on his Instagram, they in Vegas. Dude. Hell yeah, like they done eloped. Yeah, yeah, see, that's not niggas will make niggas will give you a reason to crash out. Girl, you just gotta be sh- reason. You gotta be strong. <laughs> you gotta be strong. You gotta be. That's why they say we strong black women. You gotta be strong to deal with niggas. Girl, I want to be weak. Okay. <laughs> yeah, what's the opposite of strong? Yeah, I don't want to be strong. I'll be meek. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. Of, I'm tired. Of, I'm tired of having super saber strength to deal with niggas. I'm telling you, it's too much. Never have superpowers to deal with niggas. Oh yeah, it's too fucking much. That ain't black dog. girl magic. That's just dealing with niggas. <laughs> Why That's not a bye, 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 dealing with niggas. <laughs> <laughs> I can see through glass. <laughs> I've de- loved a nigga. <laughs> I can handle a nigga. All our powers are coming Juneteenth. Uh, <laughs> if you ever loved a nigga, 
Yeah. You're supposed to have to come in June 19th. Okay. <sighs> Listen. Yeah, no. That's crazy. That's and super disrespectful. 11 days is kind of... Yeah, it's too much. Bringing around the family is fucking wild. Don't do that. Yeah, because even if y'all like friends... I'm just gonna be thinking all this shit been going on the whole time. Yeah, uh-huh. and ain't nothing gonna make me not think that either. I'm gonna think that we broke up so you can fuck around. I'm gonna think that y'all always been want to do this. Yep. I'm gonna think that y'all had secret conversation. Anytime I'm not there, I'm thinking y'all fucking. Yep. If you're not answering your phone, fucking y'all fucking. Yep. And I, I ain't really got time for that shit. You ain't gonna just steal my joy like yeah, that. Yeah, and all the fucking mind games and shit. Mm-mm. No, yeah. if you just do yourself a favor, let it go. Yeah, and and, and for a nigga be like, I technically didn't cheat. Oh, okay, so if you on a break with somebody, how long do you give them before y'all can move on? Or do you even do breaks? I'm not really big on breaks anymore, I'll be me honest either. with you. I feel like at that point, just you go on your way, let me go on mine. Okay, but have you ever broken up with somebody and knew it wasn't the end? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What do you call that? And how long do you wait for that? I don't know. I think it's still technically a breakup. Yeah. I've broken up before and I was like, we're gonna get back together and we're gonna figure it out yeah and then and nobody figured that shit out <laughs> y'all stay broken up but that wasn't a plan yeah I've, I've definitely had that happen before too where i was like damn we really broken up yeah, we took, it we wasn't took, supposed to be all this we took a little, we took a little hiatus yeah, yeah. We said, Sorry, Nara. but even whenever i've broken up i feel like it takes me a little while to fuck somebody else it depends my quickest time is I don't know. I don't have, I've never timed it. So I don't know yeah. when the quickest was, but I don't think it's taken me that long. It takes me a while to get back in a relationship. Oh yeah. I feel that. Like if I break, like it takes me damn near years. Oh, it's not, not this time though, but I'm just saying like in the past before it's taken me years to get back in another relationship. I I go through long phases of break, like relationships. I take long breaks. Yeah. But yeah, not no more. Yeah, nah. It ain't, it ain't gonna be done a year this time. But I feel that. Fuck that. Yeah, nah. I, I feel like I learned what I need to learn. I know that's right. I think the the more relationships you go through, too, you can see you just see them like that. Like I know what I don't like no more. Right. Want something else. It is what it is. Yeah, and I don't like this, so I would not be dealing with this. Yeah. Plus, I think the older you get, then you like the fear of like being alone kind of starts to leave you too. I did have that like thought. I was like, you know what? It could just be me and my girls. Like I thought of that. I was like, I'm, I I might have to be okay. We're just being us. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, and it's a hard feeling to feel because shit, I'm still fairly young. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why you're thinking like that. But I mean, I mean, it's more, it's more and more of an option that people are not gonna, our people are gonna not be together. You know what I'm saying? Like I think it's a real, not fear, but a real thought to have. I mean, the way I see point, it, I feel like it's not hard to get a man. It's not hard to get a man, but the uh, getting a man that don't get on your fucking nerves, <laughs> that is extremely hard to do. Yeah, that's true. And I think, too, like, realistically, there's not someone for everybody. There's not even enough to go around for everybody. I mean, technically. And, you know, especially if you only date black. All these niggas poly anyways. And and I'll poly go beat your ass if you, <laughs> if you step to me with some bullshit like that. Because I'm not dealing with that shit. I have never seen really a cute poly couple. Yeah, same. On TLC. Man, it'd be only one person you want to fuck. brother and it, Yeah, and it's the woman. Yeah. The woman is the only one I want to fuck out the relationship. I've just never really seen attractive poly. Like, everybody cute and poly. Oh yeah, no, that, that's a fact. Yeah, most of the niggas be yeah, there'd be some booger wolves in there. I just I had a c- picture of a couple of my phone. Just I was like, God, and they were on live soliciting. I was like, Oh, get the fuck out of here! I, know. I need to be put down. <laughs> so like, <laughs> you not. yeah, you to put them down for being <laughs> why? Because they ugly as sin. <laughs> but I just I I just know I'm not gonna do poly. And they, one nigga put up poly in my um, thoughts, and he just he just did it all wrong for me. I believe it. I could definitely do open though. I, could, I think I could do open. I could do too. open. Because if you ask me for a threesome, the type of woman I want there is not not the type of woman you want there. Oh, because you want a stud. I want a stud. <laughs> I want a bitch with a mustache and a goddamn boosty fade. That's how I'm going to with facial hair. Yeah, I want her to show. I want to show with a voice deeper than yours. The bitch got a little chest hair. My nigga going to be intimidated Ooh, as fuck. A little bitch with some chest hair. Yes, Damn. bring her. Damn, bro, that's bring, wild. Bring, bring, I want the bitch that forgot she was a bitch. <laughs> I want the bitch to get mad when she got a period. That's what I, <laughs> I want her. Bring her. Crying. Yeah, I don't, yeah, no film. So it's not going to be fair. Crying. I definitely can do open, though. I feel that. Yeah. I think I could probably make open shape. 
Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. uh, our recommendations. Yeah. Leave. Just go ahead and count your losses. Yeah, it is what it is. That's gonna be too much. Yeah. Yeah. Because if he did that in eleven days, imagine what he'll do in six months. Nah, for real. Imagine. Imagine what he do if you don't life support. That part. You know everything you coming back. Oh, nigga. Oh yeah. Fucking everybody and everything. No thank While you. While you on the bed. You said what? While you on the bed. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking on top of you. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> fucking next to you is crazy it's diabolical but nah, for it real. has happened before hell yeah well we don't have nothing going on right now no qu- any questions comments concerns y'all have you know you can always send us a hear ye at hear ye podcast at gmail.com some people have been talking to us through patreon so we appreciate that as well too hey, uh, it's back. Oh, you in there my well okay um which you've been having like perfume talk in patreon oh right? yeah yeah we did that was fun we was a little perfumer so i mean we probably should start some groups in there yeah, we should. For like perfume or TV shows and mm-hmm, stuff like that. Something. Yeah, something extra. Yeah, we'll think about that. We appreciate you guys. Um, Y'all can follow us on all social media platforms that hear you podcast on every single thing. Y'all can find me on IG at WhereBB. That's W H E R E E. W H E R E. God damn. B E B E. Where can I find you at? <laughs> and of course, you guys can find me on Instagram at Tana Taught You. That is T A N N A H Taught You. Mm-hmm. All right, bro. You ready to get up out of here? Let's go. As always, shout out to everybody. We had fun, and we'll talk to y'all in a couple weeks. Bye. Bye. <laughs>